me? You probably can't see me. Can you see me? We're here. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. You were late or I was late? We're both. I was a little bit later. Yep. <laughs> Where's Diego? Say what? Where's Diego? That's always the age old question. Alright, so we're about to warm up. Diego is not in sight. Daniel Glaze, he's here in the morning. Keep going, buddy. We're gonna talk about that magic potion that we were taking last week. Call it and uh, squats. So let's uh, let's grab our let's grab ourselves a bar. The bar for me. Body weight for you. All right. Doing my body weight, body weight clap. Good job, butt's getting back, chest is proud. How we do it? Any pressure on the knees? Mm -hmm. No. Good. This may be too much of a jump, but we'll find out. Also put a 10 on. Isn't it incredible how you feel when you get enough sleep as compared to when you don't get sleep? Enough sleep? Such, yeah. a, such a novel idea, but I feel so much better this morning. Sleep hygiene. <sighs> ah, that's heavy. All right, we're doing deadlifts. Here we go. Remember, the bar is, there you go, yep. The bar is traveling down your legs. That's a good stopping point, good job. You were going too low a few weeks ago, good job. I'm gonna add a little bit of more weight. Okay, cool. Just a little. Getting cocky, getting cocky. That's right, sorry, edit well, that out. Oh, easy. Or leave it in. Can you see yourself there? I think deadlifts are my most favorite movement. What about you, Diego? I like squats. You like squats? Yeah. And you know why? For some reason, this feels like a manly movement. How do my pores look? Do they look good? It's probably blurred right now. Let's do it. Little warm up set here. Yeah. Yep. That's good. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> This is, uh, this is 135, good sir. Well, Stepping it up over here. That's right, it's the hopper bird. Yeah. No, because mentally he doesn't think he's doing Graduated to a plate. I'm so proud of him over here. That's right, I just want to make y'all proud of me. So uh, that is really a plate. That's a, that's a 45 pound plate right there. You, there. you graduated to a big one. Oh boy, can I use a big one so I feel like I'm doing more? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I get one and you gotta up it to two. <laughs> Speaking of upping it to two, um, Diego, give me your opinion because I think that, I think you need to have a, a progression of weight, like a safe progression of weight. Like, I wouldn't wanna go from 135 to 225. I think there needs to be some, like a warm up set. So like 135, 185, then the 225 to truly get warm, does that make sense? Yeah, saying? yeah, yeah. Like you're transitioning. I think that's like the safest thing. I don't think you have to. Absolutely. Um, I mean, I'm not a, I'm not a strong man, so what the hell do I know? But 
his voice play. There you go. Now my one plate doesn't seem like that great of an accomplishment. But it's not about com it's not about comparison. That's right. It's a leap for me, and that's all that matters. That's not correct. only in the gym, but in life. <laughs> Matt's right. It is kind of close. Okay. Remember when I was talking about that jump? Might be a little too much. Might be. A I'm gonna do a switch grip here. Yep. Yeah, I'm a little bit too much jump. Ugh. I gotta leave a little early, so I'm gonna go stretch, put this stuff up. See you tomorrow, or whenever we do the vlog next. Nobody's here. Hey, nobody. Nobody's here today. They were this morning. All right, see ya. Later. Good form. See you, man. Good form. Good form or nothing. Let's go. Push time, baby. Push time. Good oh. form. There you go. One more. Make out, make out, make out. Oh. Hi, it's kind of heavy. <laughs> Another little history lesson. Back in the day, what I would do is I wouldn't touch the ground with the weights because I thought it was sort of better on your body and more of a struggle and whatnot. But I found that when you're trying to go heavier and you're you're not touching the ground you're stopping you're stopping here before you touch the ground that you're really stressing tendons ligaments everything that's holding you together especially in the shoulder region really rough on them so lift up come down touch down and then reset and get ready to go um, if you can think of a rubber band when you get down here and then you stop, and you start to go up, that rubber band is just stretching. Those are your ligaments, those are your tendons, those are all the things that shouldn't be stretching with this much weight on the bar. And you can, you can set it down slowly and then reset. You don't have to be a douchebag like me and drop it and scream, but it's just how I do things. I wonder what nerd left this behind. Accidentally did this thing called pre-exhaustion today. I don't know. I probably heard about it for the first time maybe a year or two ago. And basically, pre-exhaustion is where you try to exhaust that muscle. We've been starting out with pull-ups or rows, right? And then we go to our deadlifts or our whatever we're doing. But today we did the opposite, and that was acted that was accidental. However, it's incredible how much more I'm feeling these rows because we've already taxed our back. <laughs> Supplements. I'll go get them. Okay. It's too dark. Too dark. All right. Now, pre-workout. The idea behind of behind it is to get you going before your workout. Now, if you've tried any pre-workouts, you might have experienced the jitters, um, feeling like your feeling like your heart was going to explode. I experienced that too, and I got really sick of it. I got really tired of taking a pre-workout and feeling like garbage or feeling like I'm going to throw up. There's all sorts of stuff that goes into these pre-workouts. And I'm not advising you to take this, so please check with your primary care physician. But what I take, first and foremost, the easy one is caffeine. I take um, about 
250 milligrams, is that right? No, I take 300 milligrams, so that's one and a half tablets of caffeine, along with L-arginine and L-citrulline. Now, what is this doing? This is creating more blood flow. Vasodilate you, it's gonna get more blood flow to whatever area is working. Um, it helps with more of a pump. Lastly, beta alanine. Beta alanine is the stuff that has made you itch all over. It's made you feel crazy. That itch and what it's doing is it is providing a buffer. It's giving your muscles basically more energy to keep going. Long story short, it's, it's helping your muscles go longer. It's giving your muscles uh, more juice to keep pushing through. You mix all three of those together and it's, uh, it's a good workout. It really is, it's a good session. Why do I take those three rather than just taking a pre-workout that you can buy from the store is because I know exactly what's going in my body. Like I know what these compounds are and they're going in. I feel a difference from this. I, and I've said about supplements in the past that if I don't feel a difference, I'm not gonna continue taking it. All right, I think that's it. You don't have to be perfect at this supplement, working out, gym thing. Just try to be better than yesterday. Every day. I did the head nod again, didn't I?